This is so messed. So which one are you gonna right. go for? Um, my first pick will go for iRobot. Oh, of course yeah. iRobot, because this is how we lure more people to watch our videos. <laughs> <laughs> That's so tricky. So, so what's your pick? I don't know. To be honest, I really don't know. So probably the, oh, the white one, because white this is one? my favorite color. Oh. Yeah, this is Roid Me. Yeah, yeah this one is called Roid white. Me Eve mm -hmm. Plus, and it's a Chinese brand. We actually had a video about it on YouTube. Oh yeah, I watched it before. Yeah. yeah. So next pick though. My next pick will go for, let me check. Oh, we have Ecovac here. Oh, yeah, yeah. you know him. Like, you know, I like the camera here. So. Yeah, this one is actually called uh, Ecovac mm -hmm. Dbot T8 EV+. Plus. Can you believe that? <laughs> Such a long name. So yeah, I just want to say how good it is. So I'll pick this one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're going to put them to test and see how good it is. Uh, let's see. Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel again. This time me and Lily are going to give you guys another review about the vacuum cleaners. <laughs> yes, we did this again, but this time we have bring up these Rodeme E Plus. Uh, as some of the comments has mm. yelling about this before. <laughs> yeah, and this one is now selling for $458. Mm -hmm. uh, Lily, you pick this one yeah. up. Can mm -hmm. you feed us a little bit information about this one here? Well, I would love to. So, as everybody knows, the popularity of the vacuum cleaners is uh, with the you know, mopping capabilities is growing so rapidly. So, and the price actually is only like $452. Yeah. And it comes with uh, any kind of different kind of features, which we're going to talk later. Yeah, and also we have this Ecovax mm -hmm. uh, D-Bot, and this one is, you know, costs a lot, a lot. How much? Uh, $749. Oh, okay. Yeah, <laughs> so I want to see, uh, this one is also another pretty reputable, mm -hmm. you know, rivals in the market. Mm -hmm. Just, I want to see if this one can bring us a little bit of the bright result in this competition. The last I one so. we're gonna talk about is about this IRO, but this one also costs a lot. It How has much? now selling for $639 oh, yeah, on Amazon. Same, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, I don't see any reason why we're going to leave this one behind. Yeah, why not? Since mm -hmm. this is a competition about the, you know, all different variables of the price range yeah. from $300 mm -hmm. to $1,000. And, um, yeah, this time we're going to put these four candidates into the competition. Mm -hmm. Actually, it's a cleaning test more oh. specifically. Yeah. Yeah, I'm so excited. I don't know why. Maybe because of the vacuum cleaners <laughs> competition and yeah. stuff. So if you want to see the final results, please skip the video till the end. And uh, thumbs up if you like it. Subscribe if you love it. Let's get started. Yeah. I have to act a little bit serious now because we want our testing videos to stay both professional and rigorous. In this video, we will mainly focus on the cleaning abilities of each candidate. We will go through the floor cleaning test and carpet cleaning test, the mopping test and self-empty test. We're going to put them into exactly the same testing field with exactly the same control variables. So before taking any cleaning test, we will empty every dust cup and scale out the net weight for each of them and put them on the scale again after cleaning. Then mark down the differences so we can come up with the cleaning rate. Each test will go for four rounds, two rounds of standard mode tests and two rounds of strong mode tests. We pick the average cleaning rate for every vacuum cleaner and finally put them in our rank list. Being like that, we suit up ourselves, scale out the same amount of debris, circle up the testing field, let's on, camera standby, and boom. The floor cleaning test was taken on a wooden floor. We prepared 100 grams of debris to sprinkle evenly on the floor, then let the candidates go for the test one by one. Follow the camera, it is pretty obvious to observe that only everybody is walking in an unordered cleaning pass. The rest of the back cleaners all follow the same cleaning sequence, start from the edgeways and then turn into a zigzag cleaning route. After one round of cleaning under the standard mode, which takes about 7 minutes on average, more or less, they all left some light debris like zero on the floor, especially in the corners. 
when we take a look at Ecovac's performance, it is rather obvious. iRobot have left behind mostly of the bins, while Roadme had left a few floor. Some of the big debris will be stuck in between the rollers under standard cleaning mode, and that will be fixed later when we switch into a strong mode. Here we come up with the final result of this floor cleaning task for each of our candidates. Under standard mode, both Ecovax and Roadme had reached 86.5% of cleaning rate. On the other hand, iRobot didn't reach the ideal result. Most of their dust were stuck in between the rollers. Under strong mode, we can see most debris we put on floor has been cleaned out. Again, Roadme and Ecovax has pretty much the same cleaning rate with 96.5%. But still, some debris can be found in the corners. We prepared the same amount of debris as in our previous test before, then put them into field to work on it. It is really easy to observe the cleaning path through the camera. For people that value more in their carpet performances, there is nothing to need to worry about. They all did well and barely can find large debris left on the carpet. As it feels like working on the carpet, the motor will automatically switch into strong power mode to absorb intensively against the surface and suck up the debris hitting in the deep side. All rack cleaners have auto boost suction power function. But me and Ecovax have pretty much the same cleaning rate with 94 and 96%. iRobot is just not good at cleaning on the carpet. Its overall cleaning rate only reached 85.5%. Good enough comparing with others in the market, but obviously not at the same level against its competitors this time. Before we enter into the mopping test, we start to let you know that Arrow is going to quit the game because of its own reason. It doesn't have the mopping function. So if you guys are more valued in mopping function on choosing vacuum cleaners, Arrow would be your no-go zone. For the rest of the vacuum cleaners, let's see how they're going to perform in the test. We circle out an area on ceramic tile and use coffee drops to make the stain evenly sprinkled. The test will split into two rounds in total, one round of coffee spill cleaning and another round of coffee stain cleaning after about one hour of drying on the floor. You cannot complain too much about the Ecovax under strong moppy mode. It cleaned up all coffee stains except one spot that hasn't completely dried out. Though you will find the floor is a bit sticky after cleaning, it is literally as clean as it was before. The mop pad can be able to shake intensively tracking by the motor inside like it's twerking on the floor. Rodmi is working along a capital Y-shaped cleaning road. It is obviously designed on purpose to reach a high cleaning efficiency rate, and the result also turned out as acceptable, but only acceptable. Not like Ecovax, it has left behind several stains on the floor which can be seen obviously through the camera. Totally speaking, all vac cleaners have their own black tag on dealing with mopping function. Ecovax has the vibrating motor inside. Rodmi has high efficient Y-shaped cleaning road design. The self-empty base is claimed as their best-selling point for all candidates and this function is seemingly a regular config for future robotic bugs. So this time, we want to see how efficient the self-empty function can be through the test. Different methods was used in this test. We have debris in previous tests in each of our candidates already. Then send them back to their base to process self-empty. By weight of the dust bag, we will therefore know how much dust were self-emptied we use this dust after to divide dust before we can come up with the final self-empty rate. iRobot and Ecovac all pass over 90%. Roidme is surprisingly taking number one with 94% self-empty rate. The reason could be its well-designed A duct, which can make the dust box stay closer to its dust base. And we can also get a total efficiency of this carpet cleaning. We also tested their noises when they are working, as it reference to people will complain about it. The majority of full-size vacuum cleaners dust collection system produce between 70 and 90 decibels. The more power the collector has, the noise it will be, especially in a smaller workshop. According to the test, we can see that iRobot i7 at 79 decibels, which is similar to city traffic. And I guess Roidme and DB share the same dust collection system because it shows 76.5 decibels in both tests.
three days of testing and now we finally have all the cleaning results here. So who is your winner really? I don't know, they have these specialties. So, um, can I pick at least three of them? No, you can only pick one. Okay. Indeed, they are quite even though, mm -hmm. and I think the winner is different in different eyes. Oh yeah, this is what I was trying to say, but do I look like I don't have my money? Oh. <laughs> okay, alright, I do, okay? So I will go with Drop Me. It's only $450, and the price is just a killer to me. And the performance is, we have been watching it running all these days. It is not bad at all. Mm -hmm. But how about the Ecovac? Because it has mm -hmm. the best, like, you know, carpet cleaning or mopping test before. So, like, I think the apartment this is the uh, apartment with a wooden floor. But still, it's gonna cost you $700.50. Oh, yes. Yeah. And just be super careful when you don't have that budget. But if you are rich as Lily, <laughs> And you also have wooden floor or ceramic tiles in your home. Mm -hmm. Just go with Equivax. It won't let you down. Mm, yeah. I didn't know you were such a money saver before. <laughs> well, I have to pick for our users. And sometimes, you know, the best is not always suit you the best. Oh, thanks, like we didn't know. But I know that you don't have to go with Ivar because, you know, it doesn't waste your money at all. Yeah. God, it was even better. Oh my God.